I like Javier Fortuna. This fight is very significant because I don't know if he's the full mandatory for Devin Haney or is this the eliminator to fight somebody to be the mandatory. Well, anyway, let's mute this also because now things get interesting at 135 where it's ruled by Lomachenko, WBC franchise champion, unfortunately. You know, I hate it's not Loma fault, but I hate that franchise shit it means no mandatory. I mean, you got the belt and you can fight whoever you want in the top 50. It's, it's bullshit to me. When it comes to the WBA, what I was looking at is it, it, it it's pretty... I think it's safe to say that the WBA are going to make a fucking fake belt, a, a belt that wasn't there before, whether it's the world or super world, for the winner of Tank Davis versus Gamboa. Because I'm looking, and it doesn't seem like Lomachenko is the, 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 the super world champion at that weight. But nonetheless, another belt is going to be here. Another belt is going to be here, so... The winner of Javi, well, Nana Javier Fortuna has won. I wouldn't be surprised if Tank Davis fights the winner, uh, if it fights Javier Fortuna. I wouldn't be surprised if Tank Davis beats Jurgis Gamboa, by the way. You know? Oh, people have been wanting me to bring up the fucking shit that happened with, or allegedly, that turned out to be fake news with uh, Adrian Brown and Tank Davis. I kind of knew that shit didn't happen because once I saw, like, the tweet, I was up, like, working on videos. I was like, yo, what the fuck is the footage? You know? I've been doing this shit way too long. But anyway, Lomachenko, WBC, WBA, and WBO champion, he could be returning against George Kabbalas in January or so. We don't know. But if he doesn't, then he'll fight the winner of Richie Comey versus Teofimo Lopez, which is happening December 14th. Remember, Loma fought at the end of August, so basically that would be a nice layoff for Lomachenko. Because if he was to fight Comey versus Lopez winner, they can't do that until at least late March, April, May. It could be as far as back as May. You know, I really want Lomachenko versus Devin, <gasps> Devin Haney. Devin Haney had beat Zaire Abaduliev to become the WBC interim champion. And then the WBC made um, Lomachenko franchise champion, elevating him and making Devin Haney the champion at WBC. So, right now, as it stands, Javier Fortuna is the mandatory. I wonder if we're going to get a post-fight interview. We are, Jordan Hardy. So, this is PBC on FS1. The reason why I'm covering it now, Monday, almost today, the 4th, 7.49 p.m. I got to get the date down there. With this program that I'm using to do my videos and the one I use to do my live streams is different. Same. From power punches, it was a shutout. Because Fortuna landed nothing but bombs right from the jump. When he heard him, he so it was Monday. This fight was on Saturday night when the Loma fucking uh, not Loma, Canelo Kovalev part was on the UFC. But significant yeah, fight. Chris, and he just uh, went out there and showed out. They get out there two rounds. That's uh, Jarvis with heard doing commentary. So the main event of this, the fight coming up next is uh, Brian Castaño, who fought Laura. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes, one second of the second round for your winner by TKO, Javier El Abejón Fortuna. Javier Fortuna. Fortuna improves his record to 35, 2, and 1. And no doubt, guys, he is a contender here in the lightweight division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We post my interview. You know, it's, it's sharp, they say no. Uh, Chris punching, and you know, but that lightweight division is loaded, so he's gonna have some a lot of good. Fights. This is the time when you need a post fight interview for a fight like this. This is an important fight. And Javier Fortuna embraces important and win. Boy, oh boy, is he delighted as we are. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Anyway, like I said, that's a, like he he just elevated himself into like the mix mix at 135 pounds. So it's shameful we didn't get an interview to see what he wants to do. You know, I'm talking about like on TV, because as it stands right now, I'm going to say, you know, OK, here's the key players at 135. Obviously, Lomachenko, Devin Haney, Richard Comey, Tiafima Lopez, Tank Davis is taking on Gamboa. What's that? December. I forgot the exact date for that fight. You got Ryan Garcia, who just beat up Romero Duno. You got Lee Selby, who's uh, returning. Well, who's at 135 pounds now. Luke Campbell, we don't know what he's going to do. 
and then you got um, um a potential no disrespect gatekeeperish fighter out there that any of these guys can have a good fight with uh Yvonne Mendy Francisco Patera has been ordered to fight somebody. I forgot who. Jorge, Jorge Linares is up there. Something tells me we can see Ryan Garcia versus Jorge Linares sooner than later. It's deep. Well, we're going to see what Fortuna is going to do. He's been on a nice run. Remember the Adrian Granados fight? A lot of people feel he was on his way to losing that fight. And 140, I just feel, is too big for him. You know, he had weight issues against uh, Robert, Gar I mean, Robert Easter in a fight where a lot of people felt he won. I was at that fight. You know, the Omar Douglas win was a very significant win. And remember when he lost his his, his uh, belt to Jason Sosa in a fight where he was winning on the card. So if you really look at it, he's had a nice, it's it's about it's, it's about due time. You know, well, he did have that IBF shot he missed at 135. But, yeah, it's about two due times for him to start doing shit. Anyway, this is the guy who's fighting in the main event against Brian Castaño. I already know the results. I'm just doing, you know, getting these videos out. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. Why didn't they interview fucking um, um, Javier Fortuna right here? He probably said no. It looked like they said no. Professor, impressive performance over Constantino will do for your career. You know, I'm, tonight, I'm going to give it all. All I got. There's no, no, He's going to no get knocked out. Back. I'll give you all I got. You know, that's what I was in the comfort to 